Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. We are on day 1839 of our trek, and it is time to explore another nugget of wisdom, which includes an inspirational quote, along with some wise words from Gramps for today's trek. Wisdom is the final frontier in gaining true knowledge. So we are on our daily trek to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Hello, my friend. This is Gramps. Thanks for coming along on today's trek as we increase wisdom and create a living legacy. We are told in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 16, how much better to get wisdom than gold and sound judgment than silver. If you apply the words that you hear today, over time, it will help you to become more healthy, wealthy, and wise as you continue on your daily trek of life. So let's jump right in with today's nugget. And today's quote is from Simone Weil, and it is, A science which does not bring us nearer to God is worthless. So today's nugget of wisdom is, God created science. Today we hear so much from politicians, news media, social media, and other experts about trusting science or believing the science. Still, these messages often seem to be shrouded in fear and not based in actual science. Like truth, the laws of the universe such as gravity, real science ultimately comes from God and is manifested through His imagers. For instance, I do believe there is climate change and that it is caused at least partially by humans and animals. We also should do all that is reasonably possible to minimize this change. That being said, there is no scientifically sound reason for humanity to panic. Fear that the world will be destroyed in a few years or even centuries is driven by somebody making a profit on that fear and not by sound science. The Bible tells of a different conclusion at the end of time as we know it. It will be when God restores a global Eden on earth and heaven. Earth and heaven will be combined into a domain where we will work, rule, reign, and bask in God's glory for all eternity. Most people, including believers, don't understand that the Bible was not written as a science book, so we need to be careful to read it as such. Also, the Bible was written for us, but it was not necessarily written to us. Therefore, we have to understand the scripture through the author's worldview, to the people to whom it was written, and in the time period in which it was written. Without this understanding, we will try to force God's word into our modern time and view it through 21st century worldviews. While we should rely upon and trust science, ensure that your sources are reliable and trustworthy. Make sure that they are grounded in solid scientific methods and can be verified. Beware of the wolves in cheap clothing and use common sense and trust God as the author of the truth. And our passage for today is 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 20 and 21. Timothy, guard what God has entrusted to you. Avoid godless foolish discussions with those who oppose you with their so-called knowledge. Some people have wandered from the faith by following such foolishness. May God's grace be with you all. And as you ponder this nugget of wisdom for yourself, please encourage your friends and family to join us and to come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 1,837 treks or read the wisdom journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. And I encourage you to subscribe to Wisdom Trek on your favorite podcast player so the DC Days Trek will be downloaded to you automatically. And if you'd also like to receive our weekly newsletter called Wisdom Notes, please email me at guthrie at wisdom-trek.com. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly... I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Track Podcast and Journal each day. And as we take this track of life, together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you tomorrow for more daily wisdom.